that, fans, you'll never guess what. The kindly people at EOS Land Viewer have given me free access to the Pro version, just so that I can have a look at what's going on and disseminate it to you lovely viewers. In the last video, I did not know what toggle labels did, and I've been informed by Olga that this is for our satellite layers list. Now, in the free version, you might remember that the satellite wasn't working, that was a pro thing. But look at this, oh yes, now I can get the satellite, that's great. And if I toggle the labels, we should see labels appear. This makes it pretty nice for zooming in and finding your area of interest, of course, because now we have the imagery from the satellite as well. So that's quite cool. Um, I'm going to turn off the labels because it's a little bit busy. And the next thing I wanted to show you, uh, well, first of all, I don't have a download limit anymore. Fantastic, because I'm on the pro version. Don't forget, if you're on the free version, you can still use EOS Land Viewer. It just means that you're limited to 10 scenes per day. Now, what I'd like to do here is draw an area of interest around Kasuko National Park in Honduras, as per usual, like that. So I'm going to include San Pedro Sula as well. And down here, you can see it's created that area of interest. Now, if I click on the three dots here, we've got all this fun stuff that we can do. We can hide our AOI, we can save to my AOI, we could download it as a GeoJSON or a .kml, and we can have a look at the area, change the units, do whatever. I'll show you 3D visualization, which is a new thing in a little while. But first of all, I'm going to save this to my AOI. There, done. It looks like nothing's happened, but if we go up to the right, now we can see that I've got this saved as one of my AOIs. So in the free version, you get one AOI that you can use. And in the pro version, I think you can have up to 50 which is pretty cool. But what do the AOIs mean? Well, if I now go into Sentinel-2 data, I'm just going to choose that here. And we have all of these. Oh, let's have a look. We have a good one. Is this good? Let me just click on it and see what the cloud coverage is like. Ah, it's not very good. So I'm going to go up again and change my cloud coverage down to, oops, a daisy, change it down to 10. So 10% cloud coverage only, and this should bring up that April, the yeah, 7th of April, this is a good image. So let's use this one. I'm going to go for that. And clicking on it will change the imagery, obviously, so that we can see what we've got here. Now this one looks much better. I can zoom into my AI, have a look at that, and it should, yep, resample, and it's all looking good. Now, because I have an AOI selected, and I also have a satellite selected, I've gone for Sentinel-2A. Down at the bottom here, there is a tiny little bell, and it says subscribe to new scenes. If I click that, I'm now going to receive notifications about the availability of new scenes in the future via email for this particular region of interest. So every time there's a Sentinel-2 with 0 to 10% cloud coverage and 0 to 90 degrees sun angle, I'm going to get an email and it's going to tell me that there's a new image available. So instead of having to go back into Land Viewer all the time, it'll just tell you when new imagery is available. So this is super cool. I really like this feature. Um, so I'm going to hit subscribe. And there we go. Couldn't be easier. So now I'm just going to get emails every time there's a new image that's suitable for what I'd like to do. If you need to manage your subscriptions for any reason, you can go up to the right here, back to the AOI section. If I click on this button, I can see my AOI. That's there, and of course I can remove it, I can download it, I can rename it, whatever I like. And up here we've got another tab called My Subscriptions. If I click on that, it shows me my subscription. All the info, what satellite it is, what percentage cloud cover I've got it set to, and what sun angle I've got it set to. If I wanted to get rid of that subscription for any reason, I can just click on the trash can. 
That's some of the more advanced features that you can use in EOS Land Viewer. So thanks again to Land Viewer for giving me this uh, free preview of the Pro version. Hope you guys like it. If you do have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and please don't forget to subscribe. We're coming up to a milestone and it would make me extraordinarily happy if we hit that milestone. I'm sure we will. Thanks for watching. Happy mapping. Take care.